Now this is a chance to see one of these unique features of the game in action. Okay, here's a rift. I've come up upon uh, a life rift here, and we're going to go and participate in this rift. A few players are already there, so let's go and join up. Now as you enter the rift area, you see I get this up here, join public group. Go ahead and join the existing group, and we're going to be given some objectives. Here they are, right here. We need to defeat six enemies before the rift can move on, so here we go. And uh, please don't pay any attention to my spec. I had this weird idea that I would be a cleric tank and then failed horribly at it, so I'm still spec into that on this particular character, so give me a break. Alright, there's a stage complete, meaning we beat the six enemies, move on to the next stage, and have some more enemies spawn in, here they come. And we get a big boss enemy here, so this may not be the end, but we have a major mod. Knock him down, he has one ad left that we need to kill, where's the ad? There it is. There we go. Alright, another stage of the rift complete, and we get some more enemies to kill. The group's expanded now, as you can see, into a raid. That's just going to happen automatically on the fly. And here we go. Working together with these folks. Not a lot of coordination, nobody's speaking in raid chat here, party chat. But uh, we're going to take it to this rift and see what we can do. This poor little dwarf is getting knocked up over here. So I suppose... As a cleric, I could heal him, but I'm just not very good at being a cleric. Alright, finish off the last two dark flits here. Alright, bonus stage, Cloven Hoof. Here we go, and you'll notice Cloven Hoof is an elite, so he is going to be the major end boss here. If you take a look at the little rift interface over here, you can see my participation gauge. This is telling me how much I'm participating, therefore how much of a reward I'm going to get uh, at the end. You can also check the scoreboard on the fly. You can see me here, Narmala. I am way down at the bottom. And there we go. Rift sealed. Now we have sealed this rift, and it is going to slowly return back to the natural state of the area and you get some loot and here we go I got uh, healing seed here just a little on use item little heal planarite which is a form of currency and uh, planar shard this is uh, for a quest that I have to change souls to get a new soul added to my role Alright, and what I've done with that uh, shard is I've activated a net to pull the corrupted soul of the sentinel out. The sentinel being the role that I'm after. So, folks here are going to help me kill it. As I kill that sentinel, I complete the quest to now get the sentinel role. Somebody else is pulling a soul here, so we're going to help him defeat it. Looks like a rogue, a bard. And you'll see a lot of that, especially in the early stages at Rifts. When a Rift is complete, several people will pop their nets, and, uh, you know, it's usually a courtesy just to help them go ahead and beat their NPC uh, that, that spawns. But uh, that's a Rift. That's pretty much how it goes. These will pop up everywhere, and sometimes the zone will get overrun, as you can see here. Just have one more Rift. This is an interesting uh, concept here. This is a tear. Um, if you go here and you use an item that you get around level 8, you can actually create a rift, a minor rift in this case of level 15 to 16. Uh, that's very interesting. See one back here? When I started heading for this area of the map, I was actually heading for a tear to open it. Um, but someone beat me to it. So here's another tear here. Someone will likely open that one. And uh, you can draw rifts into the world, or rifts can attack. Uh, and when they do attack, you'll see them everywhere on the map. 
So lots of different options with rifts. It is the feature of the game. It's the name of the game. It's the feature of the game. Uh, rifts are quite a lot of fun. My character's stretching here. <laughs> and everyone has left me. So now you'll see that this, uh, this area will return back to its natural state. Uh, enemies that are supposed to be here for quests will respawn. Uh, everything will go back to normal. That's pretty much a rift in a nutshell. They pop up anywhere and everywhere, and they can also be brought into the world by opening one of these uh, tears. Next thing I'm going to try to do for you is open a tear. Let's see if I can do it. All right, join me later.